Hey guys, welcome to Olivara channel. Today, Angel is going to show you how to attach a dreadlock extension. As you can see, she is preparing this very short hair on Joseph's head and we are going to attach the dreadlock extension. So she first rolls the hair, as you can see, pulls through the needle and pulls the top part of the hair through right there she has locked the hair in then she picks up the dreadlock extension which we made earlier as you saw in the earlier video and the dreadlock extension is then attached into the top part of the hair as you can see and rotated the, the terminals are rotated um, round the hair to create a base she pushes the needle through turns the hair on it pulls it through and there you go right so again she gets a piece pushes the needle through rotates it on pulls it through there you have it so when she pulls it through she rotates it around staggers a point of injection and pulls it through the same process you do while creating the dreadlock extension is exactly the same process you follow to attach the extension onto the hair but this time round you use your hair or your client's hair to go around the extension the more points of interlocking you get the firmer the extension is attached onto the hair after you have attached it go ahead and lock in any remaining pieces that may not be properly locked All right just lock them in and make sure that your work is neat the same process you go through while making the extension is exactly uh, what you do when locking the hair and making it neater you have to find the hair that is outside stagger inject through the the pin rotate it around the pin and then pull it through you repeat until there is no hair remaining for you to pull through and there you have it she's just making sure that the dreadlock extension is as neat as possible angel is making the dread extension as neat as she possibly can and after it is neat you can see it is well attached and boom rotate it in your hands to make sure it's even and properly fitting there you have it yes now after all is done you have to make sure that your hair in your dreadlocks and on your scalp is properly moisturized we use the savorite spritz moisturizer which is made using guava leaf extracts to moisturize the hair on the scalp and help it to grow so you spray on your scalp and on the hair and then you have to seal in the moisture using the tanzanite hair oil it is made out of pure shea butter castor oil avocado oil it will not only help your hair to grow but it will seal in the moisture it is also thick enough to be absorbed by the dreads and by your hair in the dreadlocks after that of course you have to massage the moisturizer and the oil into your hair a good scalp massage also helps you relax and make sure that the peppermint does its job well then um, joseph had his sides trimmed so we have to comb it out make sure that it looks neat and well done but still with a 
whole raggedy um, dreadlock look and the hair looks healthy as you can see it is thick it looks natural and joseph is our happy rasta <laughs> so get yourself the savorite spritz moisturizer of amazon of the olivara website and look as lovely and healthy as joseph <laughs>